Steve McNamara, General Secretary of the Licensed Taxi Drivers Association. Steve, thank you very, very much for coming into the studio and for joining us. A black cab safer than Ubers? Absolutely, 110%. Why? No comparison. Well, the statistics just simply bear it out. The last uh, set of stats that we have in London from Transport for London, uh, there were 300 sexual assault allegations in private hire vehicles and there was absolutely none in a black cab. So there's your stats, mm. the current ones that are available. Um, and if you look back in the history, you're talking about these US court cases. Mm. Already in the UK, Uber have settled some cases. Yeah, it's court. coming our way. Yeah, and, and they mu- there must be more coming. Twice Uber have lost their licence. Um, one of the major, um, other than the fact that the cars weren't insured. And, yeah. and you mentioned earlier that, you know, you see the picture of the driver. Well, in, in 2017 and 2019, one of the reasons that Uber lost their licence is because the guy who was the picture yeah. wasn't the guy driving the car. And their checks were, were poor. Um, many instances of uninsured vehicles, and obviously it goes with it that uh, the large number of sexual assaults and allegations that have been made reflect that. You know, you can't mm. buy safety. Mm. It has to be done properly, and the only safe way of travelling in London is in a black cab, obviously. Obviously people point to, uh, unfairly, but people do point to, like, John Warboys. People... Well, look, the, the reason that everybody know Warboys is Warboys was an, um, uh, an anomaly. It was yeah. an abomination. yeah. yeah. Um, and incidentally, it was my members that, that contributed money towards the campaign to keep him locked up. Okay. Um, and and War Boys, we've been around since Cromwell, 16, whatever it was. <laughs> and I've got members who remember him, I tell you. They, they, they like Cromwell, yeah. Um, oh, I thought you meant War Boys for a no, second. No, no, I was going to get worried. No, look, we've been yeah, licensed yeah. for over 300 years. And the reason that everybody knows War Boys is because he is the one stain on our character. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing I can tell you about him. The only thing I can tell you is that there's far more TV presenters and journalists that have been accused right, of this back sort of off. thing than back cab off. drivers. That's yeah. just a fact. Yeah, I've been found not guilty, thank you. No. Uh, but, but seriously, though, seriously though, uh, when it comes to the Uber stuff, I mean, look, for a while, I must, I'm going to hold my hands up to it, you know, it was massively convenient for me, you know, especially during the pandemic. Just for a while, it was really convenient for me because I was working at the very start of the pandemic, at the start of lockdown, I was still going to work, and I had to be in my office at 5am, and the tubes weren't running, and where I lived, I couldn't guarantee a black cab. And at that particular time, there weren't, the kind, there weren't all the apps that there are now. So I knew I could go on my phone and I could get from Finchley to Waterloo for about eight quid. And yeah, that cab. But, right, but actually now I'm thinking that you kind of pay for what you get. And a, a black cab feels more kind of British. It almost feels more proper. 